Three concepts. That's it. I spent my first few years coding thinking I understood programming. I didn't. I knew how to make things work, but I had no idea why they worked or how they'd break. Then I learned three concepts that completely rewired how my brain processes code. Not frameworks, not languages. Actual mental models that changed everything. So let's start with the first one. Everything is a state machine. And before you roll your eyes and think this is some academic nonsense, hear me out. This concept single-handedly changed how I debug and design systems. When I first started coding, I thought bugs were random, like the computer just decided to hate me that day. Then I realized every bug is just an unexpected state. Your program is always in some state. User logged in, user logged out, loading, error, success. And bugs happen when you end up in a state you didn't plan for. Once I started thinking like this, debugging became trivial. Instead of randomly adding console logs everywhere, I'd just map out the states. What states can this thing be in? Which transitions are possible? Where did I end up that I didn't expect? Suddenly the chaos made sense, and this applies to everything. React components? State machines? User authentication flows? State machines. That weird bug where your form breaks only on Tuesdays? Probably a state you forgot existed. Thinking in states forces you to be explicit, about all the possible conditions your code can be in. And once you do that, half your bugs just disappear because you designed for them up front. Now the second concept. Your code is a liability, not an asset. This one hurt to accept because I used to think more code meant more value. I'd write these massive functions, build elaborate systems, add features nobody asked for. I thought I was being productive. I wasn't. I was creating debt. Because here's the thing, every line of code you write is something you have to read, maintain, debug, and eventually delete. Code isn't free, it's expensive. It costs time, mental energy, and sanity. And the more code you have, the more surface area there is for bugs. I used to think deleting code was admitting failure. Now I think deleting code is one of the most productive things you can do. I've had pull requests where I removed 500 lines and added 50, and it felt like winning. Because less code means less to break, less to understand, less to explain to the next person who has to touch it. These days, before I write anything, I ask, do I actually need this? Can I solve this with less? Can I delete something instead of adding? And that shift alone has made my code cleaner, faster, and way less stressful to maintain. Your code base isn't an art museum. It's a living system. And the smaller it is, the healthier it stays. And the third concept, think in systems, not components. This is the one that took me the longest to learn. For years, I'd write individual functions, individual classes, individual modules, and I'd think, this function is perfect. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. But then I'd plug it into the rest of the system and everything would explode. Because I wasn't thinking about how things connected. I was thinking in isolation. But nothing in programming exists in isolation. Your function doesn't just run. It's called by something, it calls other things. It reads from somewhere, it writes to somewhere else. And all of those interactions matter. Once I started thinking in systems, everything changed. Debugging became easier because I stopped looking at the broken function and started tracing the path that led to it. Design became easier because I stopped thinking about perfect components and started thinking about how they talk to each other. Individual pieces don't matter if the system doesn't work. Here's the thing about these three concepts. They're not tactics, they're not shortcuts, they're ways of thinking. And once they click, you can't unsee them, but they'll make you write code that makes sense. It's like this quote I mentioned in my last video. It's not easy, but it's simple. Speaking of building things and learning by doing, you'll need documentation for those messy times. That's where Skywork comes in. Instead of jumping between tabs hunting for information, Skywork generates documents, slides, and reports for you. Learn a concept, then instantly create a summary or build a presentation for your team. You can generate structured documentation, draft explanations, and format everything without context switching. When you're learning by shipping, you don't have time wasting energy on formatting. Skywork cuts through the noise and lets you create efficiently. Check out Skywork using the link below and get 20% off. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe.